everything is very clearly marked and it's already messing up. Okay, so a little bit of weird slowing down here. I'm not sure why. Oh, we got some debris in the road here. Man, it's just still breaking. I don't, I don't know. It's, it's gotta be the cones. That's all I can guess. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Tesla Challenge. This is number 21 and really weird interaction with this white pickup in front of me. I saved it on the dash cam. I don't know if you can see uh, from the footage, but he was like flicking me off and doing this and stuff. So that was really strange. I don't think he likes Tesla. But anyway, we are here to test out Autopilot's new ability of stopping at stop signs, traffic lights, all that kind of stuff. So normally during a Tesla challenge, I'm on the highway going on ramp to off ramp, testing if Autopilot can do what Tesla advertises and make all the lane changes, take exits, and do everything without me interacting. Now, safety is number one, so I always have a hand on the wheel like Tesla says you need to do. I'm paying attention. If I have to take over, I will. If you're not familiar with this uh, ability, I'll put a link in the top right. Check out that video. It'll tell you about how this works and everything. So I have a couple good spots to test this. We're starting on Woodward, which is a nice big road. Very, everything is very clearly marked and it's already messing up, <laughs> um, but everything's very clearly marked. Uh, nice open road, it's divided so I can set the speed to whatever I want, I can go over the speed limit. So I'm gonna try to take Woodward all the way down to, I'm going to 14 mile, I don't know exactly how many miles it is, but I'm gonna let the car do everything here. I guess we can start right now. I will try not to cut anymore, so we're already stopping for something that's not there. Um, the other thing, I'll try to hit the stock for you to confirm everything. Uh, whenever it comes up to a green light or if a red light turns green, I need to hit the stock or hit the pedal to tell the car it's okay to go. I have found for me, it's a little easier to hit the accelerator, but I'll try to do this so you can see what I'm doing. Um, I do also wanna say thank you to my newest patrons, Andy and Garrett. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Stephanie and I really appreciate the support. So green light, I'm just gonna hit that. So let's let the car do its thing. Let's see how it can do, if it can get me all the way to my destination without me having to take over. Now one more thing I will add in, the car in this circumstance cannot do lane changes. So I may change lanes if I need to, um, but if I don't need to, I'm not going to. I don't know why it keeps, like it sees another, um, let me put this up for you. Nobody's behind me. So it saw another, it's seeing like traffic lights and there's nothing that it should be seeing. So anyway, I'll stop rambling. Let's let the car do its thing uh, and check it out and see how it does. I accidentally hit the accelerator. <laughs> I'm just so used to actually hitting the accelerator instead of using the stock. My main worry for this, um, I think the car is gonna do fine. It does seem to get confused already a little bit, um, but my main worry is the acceleration, like the takeoff from a stop is pretty slow. Um, so I just, you know, I don't wanna annoy anybody around me and another kind of random braking there. It's seeing all the cones everywhere, that's nice. Even these weird little mini cones. Um, but it's doing okay so far. Just, yeah, I don't know, like, why was it slowing there? That was, that was strange. So here, you know, the cars were slowing and my car's slowing and I tell it to go and it almost continued slowing um, before it started to accelerate again. It's, it's fine, it's not that big of a deal, but it's just, I, I don't want anyone behind me to get confused with that kind of weird, non-natural stuff. And then again, it says traffic control. It didn't actually seem to slow there, um, but that's fine. And you know, that's another reason I'm kind of staying in the left lane. Not that this is a highway or anything, um, but I'm out of the way if people want to be passing me. Uh, I may move over to the right lane if I get too many people turning left and slowing me down, um, but we'll see. Also at the end, I forgot to say, it's been a while since I've done a challenge. Uh, we'll grade Autopilot's performance. So I used to grade it, but I don't want to influence you guys. So you grade uh, how you think Autopilot did in the top right, there'll be a little card, top right of the video. Um, actually, I think I'm supposed to point that way, but top right of the video, uh, and you can pick, you know, A, B, C, D. Tell me how you think Autopilot did. So you can see just a lot of traffic lights here over and over again, and hitting the stock every time is working really well. Um, I've had it before, 
uh, where it would get confused if you hit it too early. It would start to slow down again for the same traffic light. Um, and that hasn't happened yet on, on this try. We are on the latest software, 2020.12.11.1. Um, so I, I haven't noticed any improvements specifically, um, but maybe that's one of them. Alrighty, so that was pretty quick actually, coming up to our turnaround here um, after this light. So this is gonna be part two here. So that was pretty easy, the car did pretty well. Um, besides getting confused, it, I, that was very strange to me. I don't know why I was confused thinking, so I've completely taken over, um, thinking there was stoplights there and you know, normally you can say like, oh, that looked like a stoplight or, or, or it saw a stoplight in another lane or something, um, but I didn't see anything it should be getting confused with. So taking over here and this second part is going to be pretty wicked um, this road is all under construction there's cones everywhere um, there's weird lanes and stuff yes you can turn left on red um, in that situation just so you know um, so this road's going to be kind of crazy uh, and we're really going to push it here so i was pretty excited for this okay so here we go starting off uh, whenever i can turn it on now on this road it's probably not going to let me go over the speed limit um, well, it is for now, but it, it'll probably take that ability away. Um, unless before construction this was divided, then maybe it won't, but this is a good speed. Um, so yeah, you can see lots of construction going on. Okay, so a little bit of weird slowing down here. I'm not sure why. I do have people behind me, so I'm not gonna let that happen too much. I may have to use the accelerator. Let me see. Yeah, so now it won't let me go above the speed limit. That's what I figured. Also, this video is sponsored by the Model 3 Part Shop. You can use the code Dirty Tesla to get 15% off anything site wide as I hit the accelerator because we're going too slow. The link for that is in the description. I don't know why it's slowing down. It's still slowing down. Uh, I, I guess because of the cones. I mean, they're clearly outside of the lane here. Um, and then it popped up that signal, but my foot was on the accelerator. So. That's very strange. Maybe the cones are too close to the car. It's not comfortable with that. Okay, so I'm gonna take over here because these people are all turning left. Yep, it's okay, I know. Very confusing for you. Um, so this is weird. This, like, oh my gosh, I was confused by that. That black, <laughs> that black uh, light really confused me and then it turned yellow and by the time I realized what was going on, it was too late. Um, so, car is really hard braking for that. It wanted to stop for the yellow light, which is fair. Um, it's not appropriate because it's a blinking yellow you're supposed to go through. Um, but uh, well, I guess the car would have stopped anyway. But what I'm saying is I hit the stock and it tried to slow again, even though I told it to go. Um, so I had to tell it one more time to go through. Uh, I've heard that with blinking yellows, it gets confused where kind of every time it blinks, it pops up the system resets and you have to hit the stock again. And I was just experiencing that there. So luckily no one's behind us. I can let it do its really slow acceleration. Oh, we got some debris in the road here. The car does, actually it, it was braking, but I'm not, I'm not watching this, so I don't know why it was braking. Um, but I had already told it to go through the light. Man, it's just still braking. I don't, I don't know. It's. It's gotta be the cones, that's all I can guess, but why is it okay going 30 but not 40? You know, it's just strange. Maybe the car just thinks it's safer to go 30 with all the construction everywhere. I, I'm really not sure. Wow, lots of cones everywhere. The screen is picking up a good amount of them. Pretty impressive. All right, so I think that's all for the construction. Um, let's hit another intersection or two and then uh, you know, leave your grade up in the top right. Let me know what you think. Uh, I look forward to talking to you down in the comments about this one. That was okay. I mean, obviously there's a lot to go. We're still paying a lot of attention here. I mean, compared to like any other car, it's like the best thing available to any of us. Um, so it's good, it's very cool. Um, I'm excited for the next few months as we get updates and this gets better and better, but uh, it's still really good stuff. Alrighty, well, that's it for this one. Pretty good job there, Tesla. Uh, let me know what you think down in the comments, and you will see my car in the next video. So, Autopilot and I are happily driving along. 